together for Tom Whalen. Fuck yeah! I, uh... Yeah, a couple of people have mentioned, like, the military, and I'm not gonna get into that, but... I... Yeah, who was it? Did somebody mention being an Eagle Scout? Who? Yeah, this guy. This guy. I, I never made it past uh, Tenderfoot because I joined late and and you got out 16 and we used to camp every summer on the Eastern Shore in Chestertown, Maryland and we just said my buddy and I were just sitting around one day, you know, uh, sitting around a campfire, most of my fellows are doing whatever the fuck 16 year olds do. I'm not going to get into detail, but this little 11 year old kid comes up and goes, Hi, I'm going to discuss Wendy. What can you tell me about text? And we're not even trying to be funny. We're like, Oh, you know, they like to borrow dark hair, play to you on your hair, your armpits, your groin. This kid freaks the fuck out and goes, oh, I don't have any hair there. Am I safe? Like, one, that's way too much information. And no, you're not tip. Guess who went up with text, motherfuckers? This kid. But, uh, Dave Jones a minute ago mentioned going to a funeral and people being in caskets. I will never forget this as long as I live. I'm going to hell for this. If I believed in it, I'm atheist. But, I, uh, I went to my friend's mom's funeral, and I'm standing against a wooden pillar, right? And all anybody hears is, Yeah, the ball of a that he did it. I'm not dead yet! <laughs> Let me out of here, assholes! Everyone freaks out, like, Oh my god, what the fuck? My friend's gone. God damn it, Tom. But, uh... Yeah, my favorite holiday is coming up this weekend, St. Patrick's Day, and yeah, yes. uh, finally I had it and everyone's like, yes, an excuse to get drunk. But I'll be at Looney's in Bel Air all weekend, and I think, no, 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 and you guys do think I'll be at Looney's all weekend, and I think that's a perfect name. For a St. Patrick's Day weekend, because loonies, no matter what happens when they drink, you get fucked up. It'll be for the, it'll be the perfect loony bin for a St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, I, yeah, last time I was here, I promoted my sister Abby on TikTok. Yes. And. <laughs> <laughs> following her. That's the one thing I get applause from. Well, tonight, tonight, fuck my sister. Yes! Yes! Uh, yeah. Not you guys, not you guys, she's taking it. Not you guys, she's taking it in California. But, um, tonight... I'll fly it. Start walking, man, but tonight, I'm here to promote my own thing. Um, I'm taking a leave out of Bailey's book, and I'm starting my own podcast about autism. And Bailey has a... I know Bailey has a podcast about comedy, but... As somebody on the autism spectrum, I think... I think it's time to get the word out there. There are three things that I think are prevalent in autism or causes... <laughs> of autism, and I'm gonna get into them to the night. They are, number one, vaccines cause autism. Has anyone heard this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, well, let me tell you this. I'm, my girlfriend is diagnosed with autism with AT at 18. We're both 33. We were having sex earlier today. I, <laughs> yeah. Good night. I injected her with something earlier today, <laughs> and she still has autism, so that's debunked right off the bat. That's debunked right off the bat. 
Hi, Tom. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. 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 Tom. Yeah. I think you thought I was longer than 30 seconds, Bob. Yeah. Hey, God damn. Oh. <laughs> Marijuana helps. Number two. Number two. I'm not making shit like this up. You cannot make shit like this up. Is I read an article a couple years ago of comparing circumcision to autism. Let me tell you this right now. Uh, think with your brain, not with your head. Uh, well, you can think with, with whatever you want. Just come to your own conclusions. <laughs> and, uh,. Me personally, I think the number the three the number one thing I can get behind is autism at all is a lot like diarrhea. It just kind of runs in my genes. Uh, anyone who, God damn, I really struck it. Everyone's like, yes, but um, I broke. This is. I broke my rib a couple of weeks ago. That's if anyone, if any of the comics tonight saw me trying to suppress laughter, that's why. And let me tell you something. When you break your rib, it's fucked up because I went to the doctor. This there's nothing they can do about it. You break your rib, and they're like, you have to lay hell if it's in a cord. And I went to my doctor. And I'm like, yeah, you broke rib. You'll be fine. Just Stay off for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is my rib. Am I? How am I supposed to be on it in the first place? I. <laughs> you know, and uh, you can have my chip by itself. But going back to having autism, this is it's. It sounds like a PSA, I know, but like, it sounds like a PSA for supporting autism, which I approve, but growing up, everyone's, uh, growing up, even to this day, I'm 33, people have tell me, act, for Christ's sake, act normal, number one, I'm atheist, I believe, and number two, I tried acting normal once. It was the absolute worst three seconds of my life. I'm telling you. Like, can you imagine if everyone, like, and what is normal? You know, everyone. I, no, think about it. Like, everyone has their own definition of what normal is. Like, can you imagine if we were all the same? Like, hi. I'm exactly like no 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 <laughs> fuck that I blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> but uh no 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 but but ADHD I also have ADHD random ADHD the if you tell my half if you tell him I'm gonna go fuck yourself <laughs> what happens <laughs> you know what it's I don't want to know. That's for youpoint.com. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, my ex was into astrological signs. And I'm a Virgo. The only part about that that's not true is the virgin part. And. Any women want to test that theory? Come on, I beg of you right now. My, my ex girlfriend was a cancer, and we got into an argument. Or a fight. When I, I black out drunk, I woke up the next morning, she had like bruises and shit. And <laughs> <laughs> that's the only time I can actually just say I beat cancer. My mom. No, no joke. My mom had breast cancer. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Don't you dare lie to my mom. She, no, hand to God, two things. She had breast cancer a couple of years ago, and it was barely even enough to qualify as cancer. It amazed me. <laughs> Can I finish? It, um, 
If you all want to finish, give me your number. It amazed me how quickly they caught it. You know, it's barely enough to qualify as cancer. Within three weeks, she was in surgery, got the whole thing, got the cancer removed. She went through radiation. She's fine. She's glowing. Whether that's good or bad, I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. My mom's not the only one with metal, medical issues. I have a heart condition. I have a pacemaker installed, and the same week that happened, I broke my arm, broke the shit out of my funny bone. It wasn't, that wasn't humorous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Thanks to a pace. <laughs> Go ahead, clap. But like, but like, thanks to a pacemaker and metal and screws in my arm, I'm more like terminated than Arnold Schwarzenegger now. Arnold <laughs> But uh, I recently built this. I recently built a sex room at my house, and uh, <laughs> this is. Uh. And not the enjoyable kind. <laughs> it's not. Not the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, if you build it, they will come. I mean the women. Although, guys, if you're into that kind of thing, woo! Yeah. Is it wrong if uh? No, 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 no. But, <laughs> is it wrong that, it, let me ask you something seriously, was anybody here spanked as a kid? I mean, I don't mean the sexy kind of, who's your daddy kind of spanking, I mean, the, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, my dad beat the shit out of me. <laughs> it shows, it shows, but it's not like, my banks did the right thing. They didn't spank me, they didn't curse me out. At least still not old enough to know what those words meant. But, no, my, uh, my parents always used to send me to my room to think about what you've done. And let's think about this. My, t my room had auto TV, my radio, my Nintendo 64, all my shit was in my room. You get it. So, like, my dad would come in at, like, the half hour mark. I'd be playing like Super Mario 64 and my dad'd be like, Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about what you've done? Yeah, but I can't figure it out. Can you back in, come back in 20 minutes after we remember Bowser? And my dad would be like, give me the fucking controller. Don't tell mom, but I'm gonna whoop your ass tonight. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot and good night.